Yo, what's going on guys? ADTR for life here. And uh, today we're playing some Clash of Clans. I uh, have not played this in a long time. Um, I've been working on a few bases. This is my Town Hall 8. Uh, it's pretty much maxed out. I mean, obviously the walls are done. Uh, a lot of the point defenses are done. Uh, the only thing I need to do is two Teslas in the middle there. Uh, and then everything else is kind of upgrading. Like the uh, air supers upgrading, the bomb towers upgrading, and I think that's about it. Aside from a few dark elixir troops and spells. Like, not even a few, but it's literally just the minions and the earthquake and poison spell. Which I think of importance is probably going to be the, the poison spell first. Um, but this is just going to stay at uh, Town Hall 8. Uh, I have a Town Hall 9 as well as a Town Hall 10. Uh, and this is just for fun. Um... I wanted to push, you know, obviously I'm in Masters 3 right now. Uh, I wanted to push, I wanted to be one of those Town Hall 8s that, you know, can get up there. Can we do it? I know it's possible, um, but we're going to try anyway, I guess. I don't know, I don't know, I just didn't really want to do much after this. You know, I'm already working on a 9, I'm still working on a 10. Um, so this, I was like, you know, I'm just going to leave it as an 8. You know, that was the intention from the start when I when I first picked this base back up. I said, you know, let's just max it out, and then we'll just leave it. Um, so I'm going to be attacking with uh, just a, a, what is it, a, a Govoe, I guess? Like the Golems, the Valks, Golems, the Valks, and the um, Wizards. Uh, with Valkyries in the Clan Castle, with the Four Quake, obviously the King. Um, pretty effective. It's, I mean, it's a monster attack. I mean, if you haven't tried it already, I definitely suggest so. Um, it is kind of heavy on Dark Elixir, but like I said, I mean, I, I don't really care. Uh, the rest of my Dark Elixir troops can, like I said, more or less suffer. Like, the minions are just for cleanup, and you know, they, they are level 2, so it's not the end of the world. Anyway, forget all that. We're going to jump into a raid. Um, I'm not going to fast forward it because I don't have that kind of editing software or anything. I'm doing literally everything off of the phone and you can too. If you want to know more, comment down below and I can tell you guys everything you need to know. It's really easy. You upload right to YouTube. It takes literally like no longer than three minutes and your video is there. Um, obviously with the face camera, it's just the camera that's right here on the phone. And pretty decent quality for, mo for mobile devices. I also do another uh, channel for Hearthstone. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's under uh, ADTR underscore HS, uh, so go check that out if you want. Um, but like I said, same quality, um, and it's really, really simple. Just uh, like I said, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to maybe even do a video on how to get the software, how to use it, how to use it right, and um, you know all that other stuff. Uh, really easy. You could Google it. I mean, it's really not that much. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't mind doing that for anybody that wants to know how. Um, uh, just let me know. Anyway, let's get right into it. Let's go look for a base. And, you know, I mean, I like to search for bases while I'm recording and stuff just because, like, you kind of understand the logic, that I go, the logic that I go through when I'm looking for a base. Um, I think my finger's going to be covering up the camera if I keep hitting search, but whatever. So we're going to next the one, obviously. Uh, this one's pretty good because the expos are burnt out. The heroes are kind of far. I think what's the best way to attack this base and I th I want to say I want to say it's going to be right here like we're not going to we're, we're, we're not really going to break the walls open because we want our golems to spread that's the mistake people want a wall breaker right in um, but I think what we might do is just break these two compartments right here open like right here Really quick for good measure. Um, so yeah, so wizard over there, wizard right there, obviously to get that percentage. Golem, golem. Then just kind of spread them out. You always want to pocket about four wizards for the uh, cleanup at the end. And then wall breaker in. Ooh, Tesla. Ah, oh, rip. Okay, that's fine. Hang down. Valks, 
More Valks. Yeah, that's not good at all. But let's go ahead and throw a heal spell down. And then let's go ahead and see where the Valks kind of go. Okay. Don't need the Rage spell yet. Let's go ahead and throw it about right here. Oh, never mind. They're going towards the Queen. Rip. Did not see that coming. But it looks like we're going to get a lot of this percentage, which is great. Uh, we'll probably throw a Wizard down right here because the Air Defense. Might throw a minion down right here. Uh, King's ability. We will throw a wizard right here. Maybe right there. Yeah, the air defense is all around the edge, so that's kind of, I guess, dangerous. Yeah, see, so we got the 50. That's the easy part. Yeah, this didn't really go to plan. Um... Throw a wizard right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw another minion down right there. I mean, we, we, we definitely have time, so it's not like we're hurting for a percentage here. Anything in these corners? Nope. Um, let's see. Can we get away with a minion over here? Probably not. I think that Tesla's going to zip. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was going to stay. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all we're going to get on this base. One minion. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. Anyway, so uh, sorry about my hand covering the camera. It's a phone, so, you know. Um, that's kind of how you do it. I mean, 12 trophies is kind of a lot up here. Not really, but, you know. Uh, if you could look for nines that are just burnt out like that it's really simple really really simple um so yeah you know i'm going to be doing definitely more of this but this is more or less the army comp it's uh, just two golems eight valks four minions four wall breakers 15 wizards and like i said when you're doing your wizard line you want to always make that line i know a lot of people and i've seen it in like our war attacks there are people attacking us they <laughs> i don't know what they do but they put down the golem and then they just like they just like wizards just on top of each other and then they do their wizard thing they break like a almost like a cone and then like they start putting in valkyries pekkas whatever and then they all bounce to the outside and i know a lot of you you get frustrated when you see that and i know i you know i'm not pandering to you know the 10 percent of people that actually know how to funnel properly you know we've learned that you know it's not that hard um but more or less to people that are figuring out, like, you know, why can't I get troops to go where I want them to go? That's pretty much it. Just always remember, golems down, put your wizards in a line, save four for cleanup. Your minions are for cleanup. And that's it. When you run into CC troops, it's really not that big a deal. I mean, um, if they're ground troops, Valkyries, clear them out pretty efficiently. Um, if it's like a baby drag or something, uh, you just rage heal near the town hall. I mean, it's almost like town hall sniping 2.0. Um, that's really all you're trying to do. Um, even at, you know, trying to nag Town Hall 10s or anything like that. You know, when you're up here in Masters, like, don't necessarily go for other Town Hall 8s because um, the the trophies just aren't worth it. You get, like, five trophies for, like, a three-star, and you've just seen we got an easy two-star and a nine. And um, we got, f what, 12, right? So there's there's been a lot of cases where I've actually three-starred dead nines. And... Uh, you know, dead nines aren't necessarily copping out because, like, they're there. You know, I mean, people find them all the time for looting. Uh, you know, just even going up against Expos, it's not that big a deal. It's, you know, it's a little bit harder to get the clean two-star, but it's possible. I've done it. Uh, the only thing that kind of messes us up there, like, if we, like, the percentage was kind of hard to get around the base. Oh, excuse me. Because um, they had the air defense in the corners, so the minions really couldn't do a whole lot. But you'd be surprised how much minions can actually get, you know, just, you know, flying over all the ground target defenses and whatnot. I mean, you've seen it. I've seen it. We've all seen it. Um, I really don't like talking about stuff that people already know. <laughs> I just feel really dumb doing it because I'm like, of course, you know, because I know. So whatever. Um, I'm not like an expert or anything. But anyway, um, in the CC, you always want to ask for an earthquake spell and uh, three Valkyries and either one archer, one goblin or one barb just because you have an extra slot. I tend to go with the archer because it's ranged. 
it really doesn't matter. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, I mean, you know, again, if you guys want to know how to record your screen, uh, upload to YouTube, really simple. I can, it's really, really simple. Um, yeah, that's it. So just, you know, like, subscribe if you want, leave a comment. And, uh, yeah, it's been about, uh, more than two years since I've made a Clash of Clans video, so it's interesting. Like I said, I have a Town Hall 10, Town Hall 9 that I'm working on. Um... Let me know if you guys want to see any videos from that. I mean, I Town Hall 10 attacks I suck at. Like I, like I said, I've been out of the game for so long. But, uh, you know, I mean, I'm willing to try stuff. You know, if, if you guys want to see it, I'll do it. You know, so just let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate your time. And as always, see you on the next one.